out from a, uh, ooh, it's bright. Just left the opera coffee shop. And uh, today I am in town. So since I'm in town, I might as well take advantage of it. Get some work done. So now, I do DoorDash to make money. And today, today is a good day to do that because I don't have any plans. And I know this whole thing is like going off with no plans, but the thing is, is I actually do have a plan for this week because around either on Thursday or Friday, I'm going to be driving to Broken Bow. That way I can go there for the meetup. There's gonna be a meetup on the 26th. Um, if you're just now hearing about this, I'm sorry I didn't plan it out very well. If you're interested in the meetup, it's going to be at it's going to be at the Foggy Bottoms restaurant down in Beaver's Bend in Broken Bow. Now my plan is to get there early, that way I can, you know, find the best place for us to camp, and then from there I'll know exactly where I'll be taking us for when we do the meetup. However, because it's going to be for camping, I can't necessarily predict that that place isn't going to be taken, but I'm sure that we'll find a spot eventually. You know, hopefully it won't be complicated, but you never know. This whole DoorDash thing has been pretty cool so far. I've made about $40 and after I complete this order, I'm gonna have made about $50 just from doing DoorDash, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I've only been doing it for like maybe three hours now. I don't remember exactly when I started, but my only issue with this is I'm getting really hungry and so I'm probably gonna have to take a break after this order, but I might continue it after that and do it for dinner. That way I can make some more money on top of that. And then from there, I'll just do what I did last night I actually slept in a subway parking lot last night because it was kind of dark in the corner and there was parking spots and I didn't see any sign that said no loitering, so I slept there. Oddly enough, of all places, Walmart says that you can't sleep in their parking lot. It's weird. Hello, I'm picking up a DoorDash order for Rosalind S. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, made some good money on DoorDash, but I don't want to be driving at five o'clock right now. Like the traffic is crazy because of school and everything. And so I'm back at the coffee shop because it's gonna close at six. And honestly, there's like no reception here. So I'm just gonna like quickly wrap things up, I guess. Since I was doing DoorDash, you know, I have some cool stories because, you know, driving out here, I, I probably passed, you know, like a million Jeeps or maybe more like 20. But among those, I'd say only half of the people actually did the Jeep wave. Now, you might be wondering, Trevor, what is the Jeep wave? Well, my viewers, the Jeep wave is something that has been around ever since war was happening. And... Basically, it was a symbolism of seeing another Jeep. And as you pass that other Jeep, you show appreciation to them. There, there was some meaning behind it having to do with like the war and stuff, but um, most people don't even remember that. So if we're gonna just skip all that and skip to like modern day times, to put it simply, it is just a way of you appreciating the fact that another person has the greatest vehicle ever made in America, the vehicle that won the wars for us, the reason that we are the greatest, well, I guess, the reason that we had Jeeps. We have Jeeps, okay, guys? It's awesome. When you drive past another Jeep, you're supposed to show your appreciation for that other person having a Jeep by, you know, doing like a, I don't know, thumbs up or like, you know, I just kind of do this, whatever this is. It's, it's is like the most popular you do like that finger flick thing, you know, if it's on, it doesn't even, it doesn't even have to, like sometimes I go like, you know, kind of on the side, or you know, you can just like go like this, you know, it's whatever. I mean, that's kind of weird, but I mean, if you want to, you just be like, hey, hey, other person with a Jeep, you can do really whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. The point is, is that you show that appreciation. But, there are some people, some people who I don't understand, who will look at you in a Jeep and be like, oh look, look, he has Jeep too, why is he waving at me? I don't understand those people. 
I don't understand why you would like see another Jeep drive down the road and then just not or it's like some people I've seen the comment threads on Facebook groups where people are like I don't have to wave at other Jeeps because I have a life and blah 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 like you're not special just because you don't wave at other Jeeps. It's essentially what it is. If I see you drive by, and if you're busy, like I got it, like I saw a guy and I like waved at him and he was like looking at his phone or something, like that's whatever, I could care less, you know, he didn't see me. But if you look me dead in the eye and you just look at me like I'm crazy for waving at you and you're in a Jeep, you're stupid. You're just stupid. Like if I reach my hand out to shake your hand and you stare at my hand and look back at me and be like, why are you sticking your hand out? And then I have to explain to you why I'm doing it. And then you're like, no, I understand. I just don't want to shake it. You'd be, you'd be considered a jerk. Like, just shake the hand. Like, unless you have a good excuse, like, oh, sorry, I would shake your hand, but I'm sick or something, which wouldn't apply to the Jeep wave. But I'm just, I'm just saying, like, you have no good excuse. Unless you have a good excuse not to wave, you just look like a jerk. There's nothing you can say that's going to make you look cooler. You're not cooler because you don't wave. You're just a jerk. Okay? Okay. I'm done venting now. I'm gonna go hang out at the coffee shop and try to cool off, you know? Take my like ADHD medication. Gosh. You're gonna drive me crazy. You're gonna drive me crazy. Not waving out of their jeepers.